Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Omega and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So today we got a few big things to talk about. The first thing I want to go over is some great news for any competitive Apex players in India. I'll tell you guys what announcement was just made yesterday by Apex Legends themselves. We also have a new no timer glitch spot on World's Edge that many people have been complaining about. I know a lot of people have been using this spot in high level ranked play as well as I think in some of the tournaments that were actually taking place in the past couple of weeks. There's also been a scrapped campaign for Titan fall one that was posted by Jason McCord and this is really cool because it actually has some connections to what we've been doing in Apex Legends so I can't wait to show you guys that but the last thing that we're gonna be talking about today is we have some words from a developer on a potential Pathfinder buff that might be coming into Apex very soon so we're gonna go over all of that in today's video make sure if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel please consider doing so we are super close to hitting 50,000 subscribers so any support would just be greatly appreciated now the first piece of news that I want to talk to you guys about is actually some really good news for any Apex Legends players who currently live in India. So we got a tweet from Shaheen Kanafkin, who is in charge of competitive gaming partnerships for Apex Legends as well as EA and Respawn. He made a tweet saying, this will be great news for our players in India. The country has been added to the list of eligible countries for the ALGS. Now, this is awesome news, obviously, for people in India because, you know, we want the Apex competitive scene to be equally represented in, you know, all across the world. It would be awesome if anyone could compete in these tournaments, but but I think with server issues and stuff like that, they're slowly adding new regions that are going to be eligible to compete in these tournaments. So that's awesome news for Indian players. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is a glitch spot on World's Edge where you're technically out of the map, but you're still allowed to have a really just kind of like unfair position in this game. So this was actually posted to Reddit by a guy named Ashraf2133. He found this spot and I know it's not technically new because I think a lot of people in like high level rank play as well as even possibly some tournaments have used this spot so this is more for me showing uh, any respawn developers that could quickly just fix this because this is definitely a very overpowered spot to sit on especially if you have a sniper rifle like I said I know it's not new but I just want to show this to you guys just so hopefully someone at respawn can see it and fix it as soon as possible this next thing I want to show you guys is going to be something really cool especially if you played Titanfall 1 so as you guys know Titanfall released as a game with only multiplayer back in the day Titanfall 1 did not have have a campaign until apparently now we got a tweet from Jason McCord who as you guys know is one of the developers over at respawn he said did you know we worked on a Titanfall 1 single player campaign for a bit in 2012 before scrapping it and focusing on multiplayer at slave piece and I made the demo and it looked a lot like this and he showed us about a minute and a half clip of just some gameplay of walking around and kind of just seeing the area of what the Titanfall 1 campaign was supposed to look like what's really cool also is that there's actually a link to something that happened in Apex Legends from this clip. So in this video, the protagonist describes the wildlife control tower as what stops the creatures from coming in. Perfect. So that's what keeps the creatures from coming in. Mm-hmm. Once we take that dog whistle down, we're gonna have ourselves one hell of a diversion. Well, we're gonna need one to get Sato out of here. Now, as you guys know, in Season 2 of Apex Legends, when Crypto joined the game, something very similar happened where Crypto destroyed the Repulsor Tower, which then led all of the infestation of Flyers and the Lafalathins onto the map. So it's really cool that this clip, all the way back from Titanfall 1, actually has some similarities with Apex Legends, which as you guys know, came out seven years after the release of Titanfall 1. So this was really cool to see. Personally, I would have loved to see a Titanfall 1 campaign, but I still haven't played Titanfall 2's campaign, so I should probably start on that before I start wishing for more Titanfall but as you guys know you know there haven't really been any new plans for a next Titanfall game however I talked about this in a video months ago we did get some information from the CFO of EA who's Blake Jorgensen that said in one of EA's financial calls that they might see Titanfall again somewhere down the road so we don't know for sure if Titanfall is just done for good but man it would be awesome if we could get maybe a Titanfall 3 or just some more you know Titanfall themed characters weapons Weapons, items added over into Apex Legends just to keep this series a lot. Now the last thing I want to talk to you guys about on today's video is actually a buff that could potentially be coming to Pathfinder. So this came from Twitter. Originally this was kind of like this whole troll thing where someone made a fake account and named their self Josh Medina who as you guys know is one of the developers over at Respawn. This random guy tweeted, hi at Play Apex Legends. We've been listening to your feedback and I've realized we have hurt Pathfinder a little more than intended. To combat this we have decided to take low profile off, reduce grapple cooldown to 20 
25 seconds from 35 seconds. And to go along with that, if you scan a survey beacon, it will reduce your teammates ultimate by 10 seconds, including the pathfinders. Now, obviously this was made by a troll count, but it got a lot of people like retweeting it and liking it, thinking that this was actually the real Josh Medina posting this. Now this eventually did get a response from the real Josh Medina, and he basically just posted a GIF saying that's some funny shit. Like this guy just completely made up a fake buff for Pathfinder, but a lot of people in the community were kind of upset about this because he did actually make some valid points in this buff idea. Like this would actually be a very good buff for Pathfinder, and I think a lot of people would be happy with this. Like we even had people like Daltouche who said that the guy brought up some very good points, but this is where it gets interesting because Josh Medina, the real account, actually responded to Daltouche saying that Pathfinder will be getting some love in the future, which we don't exactly know what that means. I assume that Pathfinder is probably going to get some changes to his kit. I'm not sure how much they're going to reduce his grapple cooldown because the fact that it was increased so much means that they didn't like Pathfinder and where he was in the game whatsoever. So I don't think the grapple cooldown will be decreased that much, but I really do like the buff where if you scan a survey beacon, it reduces your teammates ultimates by 10 seconds. That would make Pathfinder kind of more of a utility legend and would definitely go along with the fact that when he scans survey beacons, it kind of reduces his own cooldown already. So giving that cooldown buff to his entire teammates, in my opinion, would definitely be a very good buff for Pathfinder, but hopefully we see something coming for that guy very soon. But I just want to thank you guys all for checking out today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and also let me know if you guys have any feedback for what I went over in today's video. But thank you guys as always for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Peace out.